Hello, everyone. This is Comic Troubleshoot RJ and Sizzlin back with another week of Halo Infinite news. Today, we will talk about brand new updates, maps, and more. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Now, let's jump right into it. A big update just released today for Halo Infinite. We finally got the much anticipated network overhaul for Halo Infinite's multiplayer, along with additional weapon balancing, playlist changes, and even more quality of life improvements. The network overhaul for Halo Infinite is now out across all playlists, providing significantly more stable gameplay and much less desync. A bunch of weapons also got tuned with this update with some weapons receiving buffs like the Commando and others receiving fixes like the Gravity Hammer. We also finally got the Squad Battle Refresh today, featuring new community-made maps like Perdition, Timberland Evolved, and Gyre. This update also brings us Easy Anti-Cheat, a custom firefight game mode allowing for even more unique firefight experiences, and bug and stability fixes for Forge and other game modes across Halo Infinite. Besides these updates, we should expect Halo Infinite's Match Composer to drop very soon, letting players choose which game modes they'd like to play, such as Ranked Slayer and Ranked Doubles. To read more about all the additions and changes brought with today's substantial update, read the Halo Waypoint article linked to the description below, and hop on to Halo Infinite now to check them out for yourself. Stay tuned here for all your big update and game-changing news. The Cyber Showdown 3 operation is live for its third week. This operation contains a pass with 20 free Cyber-themed rewards, including items like the Synth Ring Weapon Charm, the Wing Blitz Weapon Coating, and the Mimir Helmet. Buying either of the Premium Pass options will also grant players the Ember Break Armor Coating and make it so that the pass never expires. After this operation ends, it should be followed by the Yappening 2 operation on April 2nd. This operation will also contain a pass with 20 tiers of free earnable rewards, and will have the premium option so that the pass never expires. We'll have more details on this operation and future operations as they approach, so stay tuned here for all your event and seasonal news. Players who log into Halo Infinite from now until the end of March will unlock this armor coating, visor, and emblem set for Women's History Month. Be sure to log on to Halo Infinite now to unlock yourself these great cosmetic items and to celebrate Women's History Month. Time for this week's Capstone Challenge. This week's Capstone Challenge requires you to get one grenade stick kill in PvP. When completed, the challenge will grant you the Fragmentium Glow Armor Coating. This coating is mean, green, and sure to bring any Spartan good luck. And speaking of good luck, good luck to everyone going for grenade sticks this week. On to this week's shop. Same Cyber Showdown bundles again this week, along with new semi-weekly and daily items, as well as new HCS bundles. These new HCS bundles contain new team emblems, weapon coatings, and the Corpse Wrap Battle Rifle Weapon model. Out of all the bundles, the Slipstream Factor Grid Bundle is the first semi-weekly bundle for this week. The first bundle in the shop is the Data Core Riot Bundle, which contains the Data Core Riot Weapon Coating, the Extended Riot Armor Coating, and the Gravestone Guard Visor. The second bundle in the shop is the Soundless Riot Bundle, which contains the Soundless Riot Armor Coating and the Desert Hive Visor. The third bundle in the shop is the Fomorian Bundle, which contains items like the Formorian Helmet and the Delta Hive Visor. The fourth bundle in the shop is the Net Riot Super Bundle, which includes all the items from the Geist, Thresher, and Axis Denied bundles, as well as the Net Riot Weapon Coating and the Firecrash Protocol Mythic Effects Set. The fifth bundle in the shop is the Wendigo Bundle, which contains the Wendigo Armor Kit for the Chimera Armor Core. The sixth bundle in the shop is the Strigoid Bundle, which contains items like the Strigoi Helmet, the Ice Dream Armor Coating, 
in the implicit vault visor. The seventh bundle in the shop is the Grim Gas Bundle, which contains items like the Viral Influence Armor Coating and the Eclipse Phase Command and Weapon Model. The last bundle in the shop is the Grid Runner Splash Bundle, which contains the Grid Runner Splash Armor Coating and the Demon Reach Armor Effect. These bundles add much variety to the Chimera Armor Core. The new HCS bundles also look amazing. As always, check out the Infinite News Twitter to catch all the daily and weekly items the minute they are released. Time for this week's Halo Infinite Promotions. A nameplate backdrop can still be earned with a purchase from the Wolverine X Halo Spartan Collection. By purchasing a pair of boots from this limited edition collection and signing up for emails from Wolverine, you can get yourself the Plasma Lock backdrop for Halo Infinite. After purchase, an order confirmation email should come through detailing how to unlock this backdrop. If you're the kind of Spartan that's always first to put their boots on the ground, consider purchasing a pair of these boots to unlock yourself this striking backdrop. Promotions are still available via the Xbox Gear Shop. By purchasing specific Halo-themed apparel from the online store, you'll receive a code to unlock emblems for Halo Infinite. Players can unlock the Hannibal Heavies emblem, the Korolev Grizzlies emblem, the Lethbridge Gravitix Emblem, the Mizraya Maulers Emblem, or the Naftali Omnisports Emblem by purchasing the corresponding hat or shirt. Be sure to check out these Xbox Gear Shop items if you wish to sport these great looks in-game and on the streets. For more information about the Wolverine promotion, the Gear Shop promotion, or any of the other ongoing Halo Infinite promotions, check out the Infinite News website. It's now time for this week's Community Highlights. Artist Spartan B111 created this artwork titled Moonlit Palace and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the artwork, we can see a nighttime field containing both pink trees and large forerunner structures. We really like the colors and style of this piece. The mix of the greens, pinks, and blues in this piece looks absolutely incredible. And we like how we can see the moon glowing brightly in the night sky, alongside a small ring which we think might be a halo. The layers of the terrain in the foreground and background are also stunning, and we like the differently designed forerunner towers we can see contained within each land section. This beautiful artwork perfectly shows how both forerunner design and nature can coexist with one another. To see this piece, as well as more breathtaking works from Spartan B111, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. Artist N.S. Clark created this artwork of a blue Spartan and shared it to Twitter this past week. The artwork features a blue Spartan wielding a silenced DMR while walking down a Forerunner corridor. We really enjoy the shading and atmosphere of this piece. The dark shadows and various line details throughout the piece look absolutely phenomenal, and we like how we can even see light reflections across the Spartan and the metal surfaces of this hallway. The overall atmosphere of this piece is also incredible, and we like how the long foreigner corridor fades away just behind the lone walking Spartan. This artwork shows that even Spartans should be at the ready when exploring mysterious alien interiors. To see this piece, as well as more amazing works from N.S. Clark, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. 3D artist Graham Naster created these renders of a redesigned silenced SMG and shared them to Reddit this past week. In the images, we can see a completely redesigned silenced SMG originally seen in Halo 3 ODST with insane amounts of added detail. We really like the creativity and design work that went into these renders. The silenced SMG looks absolutely stunning with its detailed weathering and reflective textures, and we appreciate the many images showing off the different variants of the weapon. The first-person perspective shown for this weapon also looks incredible, and we especially like the sight and ammo counter seen attached on top of the gun. This silenced SMG would surely be the weapon of choice for any Helljumper looking for both stealth and lethality. To see these renders, as well as more stunning works from Gramnaster, follow the link to their Reddit post in the description below. It's now time for the Forge Map Spotlight. This week, we have two maps to showcase. The first map we're featuring today is great if you like to unearth new yet familiar firefight experiences. 
This is Unearthed Firefight by Halo Infinite Fortress Sephira and Ghost Praetor. This map is a remake of the Firefight map Unearthed from Halo Reach, and is great for Firefight King of the Hill. Anyone familiar with Unearthed from Halo Reach will immediately recognize the map's industrial buildings and arid landscape. All the interior and exterior areas from the original map are present here, with some additional set pieces and items also added throughout to give the map a unique feel. The outside portions of the map were also greatly designed, and we really like the 400 key ships seen off in the very far distance. The hill placements for Firefight King of the Hill are also expertly placed, and each area contains plenty of items and cover to fight off banished forces. Our favorite hill has to be the initial hill, where players can hold it from the top or bottom and make quick drive-bys with teammates. Besides the hills, plenty of weapons and items can also be found around the map, like a rocket hog found in its original garage parking spot along with a special pickup in a nearby room that will spawn AI Marine troops to aid in capturing hills. The Banish may be invading this industrial complex, but Spartans should still be able to protect its metal and concrete structures by utilizing its many vantage points. To unearth a means to stop the Banish on this map for yourself, bookmark Sephira and Ghost Praetor's map via the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. The second map we're featuring today is great if you enjoy preparing for invading enemy fleets. This is Destry by Halo Infinite Forger's Frenchies and Zaddy Hammer. This map takes place at an entrenched, war-torn fortress and is great for arena game modes. The atmosphere and design of this map is truly astonishing. We love the lighting and ambiance that we can find in both the tight indoor corners and the long exterior sections of the map. The outside areas of this map also look extraordinary, and we especially love the massive war vessel, seen hovering over the incoming ship fleet, as well as the gigantic robot seen overlooking the entire map, with its big, eerie, glowing eyes. The massive gun found at the center of the map also looks amazing, and we like how it will even fire a glowing blue projectile midway into the match. An assortment of useful weaponry can be found on this map, like two sniper rifles found in separate bunkers, and a shotgun found just under the center gun. A ghost can even be found near a buried, heavily armored locomotive, which works surprisingly well navigating the tight trenches of this map. However, the most impressive part of this map has to be the secret hidden weapon players can uncover within the facility. By completing a specific puzzle set on this map, players can spawn a skull, which when brought to this locked up door, will reveal an electrifyingly powerful weapon for players to cause havoc with. This fortress may lay under heavy enemy siege, but Spartans can still survive the night if they bunker down within its elaborate trenches and around its massive ordnance. To lay down heavy fire on this map for yourself, bookmark Frenchies and Zaddy Hammer's map via the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. That's all the community highlights we have for you folks today. If you'd like to see your art, maps, or Halo clips potentially featured here, be sure to join our Discord, linked below, and feel free to say hi and share your creations from time to time. That is all the infinite news we have for you guys today. Try out all the additions and changes provided with today's big update and get excited for even more updates soon to come. Remember to send feedback to 343 on all their social media pages, so they can better improve all aspects of Halo Infinite for the future. Also, check out the shop and review the promotions if you want to claim additional items for your Spartan. Follow the links in the description for more info on everything shown today, and check out Infinite News for more on what's new in Halo Infinite. Updates are finally here for Halo Infinite, and even more exciting content is on the way. Be prepared for these upcoming changes by staying tuned here for all the latest game news. Enjoy the rest of March, everyone! We will see you all in Infinite. <laughs>